thy God shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, and hath cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites, and the Girgashites, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Three years ago, I did a short video on how white is becoming the new black. Around that time, the term cultural appropriation was on the rise. Since then, the kingdom of darkness is using many strategies to erase the most highest creation. The synagogue of Satan has done a phenomenal job deceiving the world. The workers of iniquity convinced the people that the Khazars are the blood descendants of the Israelites. Look how easily the kingdom of darkness erased the chosen people and steal their identity. Today, the kingdom of darkness is waging war to erase the black race, the indigenous people. Satan wants to replace the original woman and man with mixed and biracial people. By doing this, he can easily blend his seed with the rest of the population. The way the kingdom of darkness stole the identity of the Israelites was by invading the territories that spoke of the Israelites in the scriptures. The serpent seed intermingled his seed with the indigenous population dwelling in those lands to gain birthrights. Multiple generations later, the population of the people dwelling in those lands changed due to the invading seed. When the offspring of the invader and the original people increase, they demand birthrights and their inheritance. The new species oppress the original people and take the inheritance of the original people. If the elders do not pass knowledge to the next generation, there will be multiple generations of Israelites not knowing their history. They would follow the kingdom of darkness narrative. That is what our people have been doing for multiple generations. Now in the awakening, our people are beginning to learn of their history. It is extremely important that we teach the next generation of who we are in our bloodline. The scriptures spoke of a king in Egypt that did not know Joseph and his contribution to Egypt. That king made our ancestors his slaves. And the children of Israel were fruitful, and increased abundantly, and multiplied, and waxed exceeding mighty, and the land was filled with them. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. If our ancestors would have educated the heathens in the land of Mizraim and pass our customs and the laws of the Most High to their descendants, every king that sat on the throne in Egypt would have known about Joseph. It is important for the elders to teach the younger. The scripture said, train a child in the way he should go. When the child gets older, he will not depart from it. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Israelites, history has shown how the kingdom of darkness erased bloodlines and people from being remembered. The scriptures reveal how the heathens conspire together to cut us off from being a nation, and the name Israelite would be no more in remembrance. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Today, the chosen people are known as Jews, and their appearance is far from the original people. If you ask anyone who are the chosen people, everybody would say the Jews. Even awakened Israelites refer to themselves as Jews. The Most High called his people Israelite. The kingdom of darkness changed the name to Jew. Until this day, I do not understand how Satan has gotten away with this. The original people of the world in every land on this planet are a dark people, the black indigenous people created by the Most High. Black people are the original people. I will repeat, black people are the original people. I am not going to apologize nor feel sorry for stating facts. It was important for the serpent seed to colonize every land on this earth. 
Once they control the land, they can plant their seed. Once the Most High's creation has been infiltrated, the whitewashing and the appearance of the people change over time. The serpent seed is not indigenous to any land. That is the reason Satan had his seed conquer and steal from the indigenous people to gain land ownership. The indigenous people have no need to fight for land because the Most High divided all the land of this world to the indigenous people. The way the indigenous people know of what portion belonged to them, their family's bloodline identifies their inheritance. Just as the promised land belonged to the Israelites, it is their bloodline inheritance from their father Abraham that was passed to Jacob, the progenitor of the Israelite bloodline. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac. The land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. The kingdom of darkness had to whitewash certain areas first to assume the chosen people's identity. It takes three to four generations to white out a bloodline. A good example is North Africa. Africa is the second largest continent on earth. Majority of the population are the indigenous people. However, North Africa has a large population of mixed people. The modern day Egyptians and other bloodlines in the land of Ham are whited out. The process of the kingdom of darkness erasing history and the chosen people took multiple generations to complete. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. The kingdom of darkness managed to deceive the whole world of who the real Israelites are. How likely would Satan succeed in erasing the indigenous people of today? Black fishing is another popular saying given to non-blacks taking on the identity of the so-called black people. The Most High want us to revisit the topic of white is the new black. Yah want to expose how his people, the indigenous people of the world, are helping the kingdom of darkness erase themselves. Everyone needs to comprehend who the indigenous people are. Once this generation can properly identify the indigenous people, learn the difference between bloodline and race, they will gain a better understanding on why the kingdom of darkness need the indigenous people to establish his own. Satan is a liar. The scriptures reveal he is the father of lies. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. For Satan to deceive the whole world, he must imitate the Most High. By imitating the Most High, he can deceive many into serving him. The scriptures reveal to us that in the beginning, the Most High created man and woman in his image and in his likeness. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. The scriptures went on to reveal that the Most High breathed the breath of life into the man. It was not until the Most High breathed into Adam he became a living being. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Once the Most High created the first man, the scripture referred to as Adam, Yah took Adam's rib to create the woman, the scripture identify as Eve. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. Although the Most High used dirt to create Adam and Adam's rib to create Eve, Yah made the man and woman in his image and in his likeness. Yah made sure the original man and the original woman were able to duplicate themselves. 
Yah made sure all his creation can reproduce itself. A male and a female from every species must come together to reproduce itself. Mankind, the animal kingdom, and the ecosystem. If a male and a female do not come together to reproduce itself, that species would go extinct. The scriptures reveal to us in the book of Genesis that an infiltration has taken place. The scriptures reveal the sons of God, fallen angels, took wives from the daughters of men and produced an offspring. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. The offspring from the sons of God and the original woman are the creation from the kingdom of darkness and sin. This infiltration has brought forth the serpent seed. Satan needed the original people to create an offspring. The offspring of the sons of God is not a duplicate of the original people. The sons of God offsprings are a new species. This new species is not of the most high. Yah had already created the original people before the infiltration took place. It takes an original man and an original woman to reproduce an original child. Anything outside of that is not of the most high. Here is where bloodline and race come into effect. The Most High identify his people via bloodline. Satan identify the creation of the Most High by race. There are original heathens. The term heathen is not a derogatory name. The truth is, heathens are all who practice paganism. The terminology heathen is another name for an idolater. If you do not serve the Elohim of Israel and you serve another deity, those deities are idols. The Elohim of Israel is the one and only, the Alpha and the Omega. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. If you serve any other deity outside of the Most High, you are a heathen or a pagan. Satan used race in this modern day culture to bring confusion. In addition to imitate the Most High's bloodline system, a person's race is identified by place of birth and appearance. Bloodline is a family clan. The scriptures often identify a family clan by the father's name. Jacob's bloodline are Israelite. Ishmael's bloodline are Ishmaelites. Esau's bloodline is known as Edomite and etc. Through the Most High's bloodline system, a person can be born anywhere in this world. As long as he or she descend from their family's bloodline, that is their nationality, in modern term, race. For example, Israelites are scattered all over the world. The descendants of Jacob is dwelling in all the kingdoms of this world. Regardless of place of birth, that individual is an Israelite if he or she descend from Jacob's bloodline. We have Israelites born in the Caribbean. Israelites born in Africa, Israelites born in the United Kingdom and all over the world. Today, we are connecting with each other from all the places we dwell. When we apply the Most High's bloodline system, the place of birth is not a determining factor. In the B system, you must be born in Israel to be considered an Israeli. The kingdom of darkness group people with the same features and place of birth as one race. By doing this, Satan is mixing multiple bloodlines into one to identify the people of today. The reason Africa is the motherland, there are multiple countries on the continent of Africa. Majority of the inhabitants are categorized as black in the beast system. Throughout the African continent are tribes. These tribes are a bloodline. Through those bloodlines, the indigenous people on the continent of Africa differentiate themselves. Although they resemble each other and been grouped into the black race, their tribe or bloodline identify them. Israelites, this is why the Most High do not look at the outward appearance, because his original people look alike. Bloodline is the key and the true identifier of a person. Race is a non-factor. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance, or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. 
Race was invented by the kingdom of darkness to counter the Most High's bloodline system. Remember, Satan imitate everything the Most High does. The beast system professed color does not matter, however, creates a race classification based on color. That is why the serpent seed find it difficult to accept that black people or the descendants of slaves are the chosen people, simply because of the color of their skin. Black people have an opposite appearance from the serpent seed. Whenever it is the exact opposite, it stems from the kingdom of darkness. Israelites, it is important to know the difference between race and bloodline. There are black Edomites and black Ishmaelites. These individuals would be the original people that descend from those bloodlines. The beast system in this generation is diluting bloodlines to increase the serpent seed's population. By infiltrating all the kingdoms of this world, Satan can plant his seed into the indigenous population and inherit the original people's heritage and birthrights. That is what the Khazars have done with the chosen people. The Most High want his creation, the indigenous people of the world, to know they are assisting the kingdom of darkness in erasing themselves. In addition, increasing the population of their oppressors. The beast system is promoting interracial couples and mixed families. These unions only benefit the serpent seed. For multiple generations, the kingdom of darkness used the mixed seed and the biracial to oppress the indigenous people. Many mixed and biracial people have the mentality of the serpent seed. The beast system classified biracials and the mixed group as black. While the kingdom of darkness dilute the indigenous population with biracial and mixed people, Satan is causing a separation between the indigenous man and woman to further destroy the Most High's creation. If the black man and the black woman do not reproduce themselves, they will go instinct. To further sever the indigenous people, Satan programmed the indigenous people to hate themselves and accept everything white. The indigenous people fetishize biracial and mixed people. They hate their dark skin that is made in the most high's image. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Another method Satan is using to be sure white is the new black, the doctrines of devils. Satan convinced the indigenous man that whatever he produced with the strange woman is an exact duplicate of himself. Never mind that by the third generation he whitened himself out if his seed continued to reproduce with the serpent seed. By the third and fourth generation, the serpent seed stomp out the indigenous blood. Dear black men, when you reproduce with the strange woman, your offspring is a testimony against you. Your offspring will turn around and oppress you just as they have been doing for multiple generations. Your offspring inherit your self-hatred. That is why your sons and daughters reproduce with the serpent seed to follow in your footstep. The apple does not fall far from the tree. Many Israelite males believe they are creating Israelite children with the strange woman. You are creating a thorn in your flesh, just as Abraham did when he had Ishmael with the strange woman. And Hagar bare Abram a son. And Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare, Ishmael. The Ishmaelites participated in the slave trade. The Most High will punish the children for the sins of their fathers to the third and fourth generation. The Lord is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. The Most High is indeed visiting the iniquities of the fathers to the children in this generation in the form of generational and bloodline curses. Remember Esau spoiled his seed by reproducing with many strange women, going against his parents' wishes. And Esau was forty years old when he took to wife Judith, the daughter of Berai, the Hittite, and Bashemath, the daughter of Elon, the Hittite, which were a grief of mind unto Isaac and to Rebekah. It grieved Isaac and Rebekah when Esau married the strange women. The scriptures reveal Isaac and Rebekah told Jacob not to marry the strange women. 
Somehow in this generation, many Israelite males take heed to the doctrines of devils and follow in the footsteps of Esau and King Solomon. Their mixed race and biracial children are now the new black. The indigenous people, the black people with two black parents are being pushed out. White is the new black. The strange women were King Solomon's downfall. Solomon was the wisest man on earth, yet the serpent seed managed to pluck him from the most high. The Israelite males in this generation believe they are producing Israelite children with the strange women. Do not let Satan deceive you. Satan want you to believe you are reproducing yourself to further increase his seed's population. Your counterpart, the helpmate the Most High gave you, but many sons of Israel neglected, the serpent seed will reproduce with her to continue to increase the army of Satan. The indigenous people do not benefit at all with abominable unions with the heathens. Today, full-blooded heathen women, mixed and biracial people are taking the indigenous people culture with boldness. The indigenous people refer to them as culture vultures. The beast system continue to promote these people as black. Indigenous people of the world accept and welcome the half-caste because they believe the full-blooded serpent seed will treat the half-caste better. The serpent seed only accept the half-caste when the half-caste become full-blooded by the third generation. By not accepting the half-caste will motivate the biracial to procreate with the serpent seed to win the love of the serpent seed. Meghan Markle is a prime example. The serpent seed reject and despise her, but they accept her full-blooded son. If the indigenous people do not become vigilant, they will soon become the beasts of the field. The biracial and mixed people will inherit your blessings in the beast system. It is time the so-called black race stand up and take control of their culture, communities, and even their identity. The kingdom of darkness is robbing you of your inheritance. That is why the heathens media promote mix and biracial as black and shun the dark indigenous people. You must open your eyes to recognize Satan's schemes. Put on the whole armor of Yah. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Whether you like it or not, white is becoming the new black. If the indigenous people continue to be complacent with their culture and the dominion the Most High gave them, Satan will do to us like he did to Adam, rob him of his dominion. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Israelites, you cannot deny the whitewashing of the indigenous people. The kingdom of darkness has been planting tares among the wheat for a long time. Satan successfully stole your inheritance and gave it to the synagogue of Satan. The kingdom of darkness is waging war with you. How long will it take before you start to fight back and claim what is rightfully yours? Israelites, do not allow the kingdom of darkness to make white the new black. Let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest to them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, wilt bless the righteous. With favor wilt thou compass him as with a shield.